I would like to share with you the Upanishad mantra meditation from letters from the yoga masters and it's on page 165 and this is a meditation from Swami Shiva Pramananda who at this time is still alive which so many of the yogis who contributed to this book or contributed letters to Hari <clears throat> that found their way into this book. Uh, most of them have long been gone, but Swami Shiva Pramananda is still alive, and he shared this beautiful meditation with Hari. So there's visualization that goes along with it. There are mantras that are drawn with it, and in the book on page 289, in the actual glossary of the book, you'll find the word Mahavakya, which literally means a great sentence. And each of these mantras are particularly powerful. They're drawn from the Vedas. So the Upanishads are drawn from the Vedas, and therefore these mantras are. So Pragnanam Brahma is one of these Mahavakyas, or great sentences. Pragnanam Brahma, consciousness of Brahman, or consciousness of the divine. And that's from the Aitreya Upanishad in the Rig Veda. And then Aham Brahmasmi, a very sacred mantra. I am Brahman, or I am one with the divine. There's no separation at all. And this is from the Brihad Aranyaka Upanishad which is drawn from the Yajur Veda. The Vedas are the oldest texts known uh, on yoga. Tat Tvam Asi is another Mahavakya. Tat Tvam Asi. And this is from the Chandogya Upanishad. It means that thou art. And that uh, is from the Sama Veda. And then Ayam Atma Brahma. This self is Brahman. Again, there's no separation. All of these mean that. I am one with the divine. I am one with Brahman. Ayam Atma Brahma is from the Mandukya Upanishad, which is from the Atharva Veda. So all four Vedas are represented here. The different Upanishads that are drawn from the Vedas and these great sentences that remind us that we are not separate from the divine. We are one with it. So I really uh, enjoy the technique from Swami Shiva Pramananda on this Upanishad Mantra meditation. There's visualization with it, and um, you'll see some similarity. The mantras are not the same. They've been adapted from these great sentences, but they're perfect with this uh, meditation. So I want to just explain the first one as you are um, breathing. And I'll say the mantras. And um, So you have the visualization of the breath coming in the top of the nostrils to the third eye and going out the bottom of the nostrils. So from the outer through the nostrils to the third eye where the Ida and Pinkala join here and then out through the bottom of the nostrils from the third eye out into the universe. So that's the first visualization that will go with it. And there's no picture of that in the book, but the other two visualizations, there are pictures in the book. So the second one then, you'll move the prana and uh, it'll go like an upside down crescent moon in the head from the third eye to the back of the head of the bindu over the top of that crescent moon and then back from the bindu at the back of the head to the third eye at the bottom of that crescent moon so third eye over to the back of the head and back of the head on the underside of this crescent moon to the third eye and then the last one is that it's like that crescent moon has uh, flipped the other way and it's like a bowl on the top of the head. 
and it's going to be a crescent moon up there like a bowl that will receive the prana in that bowl. And so I'll guide you through the visualization as we do this. So sitting comfortably, finding your sit bones and a, a, a nice uh, seated tadasana, slight firmness below the navel, lifting up through the sternum and the count of the head, crown of the head. And begin by watching your breathing, watching the breath. Allow the mind to experience the flow of prana inside the nostrils. And as you're breathing, bring your attention to the cool air on the inside upper nostrils coming from the outer world up to the third eye, the space between the brow. And then as you exhale, feel that warmed air breathing out through the lower part of the nostrils and out into the world. Feeling the cool air coming in the upper nostrils and contemplate the unity of the cosmic prana with you. And as you exhale, your individual prana goes out into the universe and merges with that. The incoming breath through the upper nostrils to the third eye represents peace, infinity, fullness, and transcendence. And your individual outgoing prana represents spiritual freedom, expansion of consciousness, diffusion of the individual breath with the cosmos. Feel that cosmic prana coming into you through the upper nostrils. And as you exhale slowly through the lower nostrils, your individual prana merges with the cosmic universe. And now shifting our attention to the mantra with this part. Just feel the energy of the mantra as I say it and say it in your mind. Idam pranayama atma brahma. Idam pranayama atma brahma. The consciousness of prana awakens in me the consciousness of my atman which is one with God. This cosmic consciousness of prana awakens in me the consciousness of my individual Atman, which is one with the divine. Idam pranayama atma brahma. Idam pranayama atma brahma. Idam Pranayama, Atma Brahma. Idam, Pranayama, Atma Brahma. Feel this cosmic prana coming into you and merging and awakening your individual prana. So it merges with that cosmic prana. Allow your breath to be relaxed and free.
And then now moving your attention to this convex crescent moon in the upper brain. So as you breathe, your prana will flow from the space of the third eye over the top of this crescent moon to the back of the head there, the bindu, where there's that little curly of the hair. And then as you exhale through the lower region of that convex moon back to the third eye. So bringing your attention to the breath, starting at the third eye, breathing in over the crescent moon to the back of the head. Exhaling, move the mind from the back of the head and forward along the lower line of the convex moon. Just feel this movement of prana from the Agnya Chakra to the Bindu Chakra. And from the Bindu Chakra forward to the Agnya Chakra. Agnya Chakra to Bindu Chakra over the top of the crescent moon. Forward from the Bindu Chakra at the back of the head to the space between the eyebrows. Feeling this beautiful flow of prana. Prana flows on the breath. It rides on the breath like a horse. Is the breath and the prana is the rider. Next time, pausing at the space between the brows, the Agnya Chakra, we'll now move into the next mantra. Idam Pranasarva Bhuteshu Buddha. Idam Pranasarva Bhuteshu Buddha. This beautiful mantra here idam pranasarva bhuteshu guda through the experience of prana i experience the spiritual essence which is in all as it is within me As you're feeling this mantra, continue with the feeling of the flow of the crescent moon. Idam pranasarva bhuteshu guda. Idam pranasarva bhuteshu guda. Through the experience of prana, I experience the spiritual essence which is in all as it is within me. Idam pranasarva bhuteshu guda. Idam pranasarva bhuteshu guda. So my individual consciousness has merged with the divine consciousness, the divine prana, and through this experience, I experience the spiritual essence which is in all as it is within me. My individuality has merged with the oneness 
that one spiritual essence and every other individual that exists, the drop goes into the ocean. The individual raindrop merges with the vast ocean. Idam pranasarva uteju guda. I now experience the spiritual essence that is in all as it is in my individual self. Allow your breath to relax and be normal. As we rest in that essence, before we move into the third mantra, the third visualization. Allow your breathing now to come in with a sense of prana moving up to the crown of the head and releasing that prana at the sahasrara in that beautiful bowl crescent moon and pay no attention whatsoever to your exhalation. Each in-breath moves in, drawing the prana up to the sahasrara, depositing it into this bowl of energy and pay no attention to your exhalation, just drawing more prana in to the crown of the head and depositing it into that beautiful crescent moon. And more prana comes in, continually maintaining the sensation of renewal of pranayama. Constant renewal of pranayama. Fullness. Depositing the prana into the bowl at the crown of the head, the crescent moon. Openly receiving your deposits of prana that come in from the cosmic universe up to the crown of your head. And as we'll move into the mantra, the meaning of this mantra, just feel as you're drawing in that cosmic prana, depositing it at the crown of your head. The experience of prana awakens in me the transcendental consciousness of the divine. This fullness of prana that I'm experiencing awakens in me the transcendental consciousness of the divine. Idam prana pragnanam iti brahma. Idam prana pragnanam iti brahma. Idam prana pragnanam iti brahma. This experience of fullness of prana, this prana awakens in me the transcendental consciousness of the divine. Idam prana pragnanam iti brahma. Idam prana pragnanam iti brahma. Idam prana pragnanam iti brahma. You can still feel that flow of prana from the cosmic, cosmic consciousness up to the crescent moon at the crown of your head. 
Padam Anapragnanam Iti Brahma. And this experience of prana awakens in me the transcendental consciousness of the divine. Idam Iti Brahma Idam Prana Pragnanam Iti Brahma And rest in that fullness, rest in that immersion of the essence of transcendental consciousness, the divine consciousness. And as we conclude this Upanishad Mantra meditation, it's concluded with this wonderful um, Shanti Mantra, the Poor Namada Shanti Mantra, which in essence means that Brahman is full. This creation is also full. And from Brahman comes creation. And no matter how much we take from Brahman, it always remains full. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachyate Purnasaya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Om Peace Peace May you be filled with the beautiful pranic flow, the cosmos of the divine. Namaste.